Welcome to 2K Sports, everyone. We have some exciting in Allie, it's all you. Warriors head coach Steve. All right, good stuff, Allie. Thanks. And let's take a look at Boston's starting lineup. Orford and Williams together in the front court. Brown and Tatum are the explosive winning pair. And it's smart in at the point. And for the Warriors, the core of the dynasty all on the floor. Kurt and play the cards with Draymond up front at the four. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Kevon Looney. Shot is up. And too long on the shot. And Brown, the bucket on the assist from Smart. This should be an active game. Two squads that really move the ball well and share the load offensively. Well, we got some Playmakers at your VA. So it's a multitude of guys who are going to be able to survey the floor, maybe make that backdoor play or that lob pass to the rim. It's going to be a lot of fun. Poke loose and stolen by Green. Here's Thompson. Boston with a rebound. Brown passes to Smart. From the strike. Nice shot by Brown. Brown's got his second basket of the game. When Brown gets the ball this close in, he knows he can finish. Just a matter of execution. Here's Thompson. Fires the jumper from the corner and nails it. Love to see that kind of activity. He just makes things happen. Outside, Brown. To the inside. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. He's really become a better all-around player. Brown's passing continues to evolve. Nice find. The three from Curry. That shot off. Now Boston takes it the other way. And after winning MVP honors in 2015, Jason Curry was even better in 2016, taking home another MVP award going back to back. And the Warriors with possession here. The Celtics making their last shot. It's Brown on the wing. This is the three. And that 2016 MVP year for Curry, Grant. One of the best regular seasons ever. Oh, no, so true, B.A. Think about this. The Warriors winning an NBA record 73 games. Steph shadowing the three-pointers made record over 400 for the season. Also leading the league in steal. Steph in 15-16. Something else, guys. On the wing, Curry. Shoots over Brown. Curry, no good. D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. Here's Tatum. And that one's good. That makes it two for three. The more strength Tatum puts on, the more effective he becomes, especially finishing through contact. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. It's stolen by Smart. Pass break. Here come the Celtics. Let's it go from 14. Here's Tatum. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send them to the line. It could be a three-point play. Having added so much strength, Tatum can take the contact and stay balanced. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Ever since this game started, they've been attacking on the inside, looking for ways to bust up the defense and get high percentage look. Love the passing that they displayed at the start of the game. Great ball movement that's opening up some chances. without
really getting deep into the execution. The Warriors trailing. Pass to Looney. Some solid defense from Williams. I'm not going to see that very often. His defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. Two points. That one goes. They played with fantastic energy from the opening tip. You wondered if they would take some time to find their A game. They did it at jump ball. They've been awesome today. Now here's Curry. Looking for his first basket still in this one. With a teardrop. A solid defense from Williams. Oh, deflected. For Boston, they've got 7-11 shots to find the mark. After a couple of injury play seasons, missed playoffs. The Warriors have returned to their winning ways. And just how impressive has that been? And some changes here for the Warriors. Green's checked in for Looney. And it's Poole in for Curry. Gallinari, he's checked in for Boston. Wiggins, no good. And here are the Celtics. They're on a 15-5 run. Right, getting Clay Thompson back has been a major factor for their renewed success. Uh, there's no doubt how vital Clay is to this team, but you got to give credit to their overall depth. I don't think Clay was fully healthy last year at any point, so he's coming in stronger. This roster still feels like strength in numbers is in effect. And that one's good. Toughness there from Andrew Wiggins. Would like to see more baskets like that one from him. Tatum against Wiggins. Gallinari, the pass to Tatum. And here's Brown. Three-pointer off the mark. Let's it fly. Thompson, no good. The Celtics have got eight of 13 attempts to go. And here's Brown for three. And it falls for him. He's now four of seven from the field. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Well, there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight. They might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot. Even with little or no defense on it. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. And it's green missing. That's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. You got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offensively. Now here's Brown. He's got nine. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Clock at six. Gallinari to pass to Horford. Play clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. Smart for three. The rebound by Wiggins. Here's Thompson. And that one hits the back iron. And an overpowering first quarter effort. Already a double digit advantage. Celtics out in front. Up by 15. Stay with us now as we get set to bring you quarter number two after this. Ladies and gentlemen, your Warriors youth We welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And guys, we've seen the Celtics really take control here. Just excellent first quarter defense. They've been really getting after it. Just a, a great job, really, of making the game ugly, trying to muck it up a little bit out there. On the court for the Celtics, second quarter underway. The two Williams are in the middle. Grant at the four, Robert at the five. Malcolm Rogdon out there with Derek White. And it's Hauser in at the three slot. Here are the Celtics with the ball. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. It's at 15 points. Coming it down low. Williams defending. Lays it up and banks it in. Using his speed advantage to create the separation he needs for the shot. Outside, Williams. Pass to Hauser. Tipped away. Oh, stolen by Peyton. Kaminga with it. Now guarded by Brogdon. Kaminga goes in. Peyton. Rebound, Boston. Right side, White. He has a passion for the game. He's tough and he's very 
intelligent. He makes great decisions. He has all the tangibles you're looking for. And he drops the first. Right, hits them both. And you have to think that one advantage the Celtics team has is a deep roster. Lots of quality guys that can assemble different ways. They're pretty adept. Let's go down to the sideline and catch up with Allen the Force. Well, the guys, the Celtics are handing the keys to two Jays, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. There have been growing pains and even some question if the pair did coexist. But Brown said, quote, the adversity will help us grow. As long as I'm on the same page with him and he's on the same page with me, we're all good. Figuring it out, Ali. Thank you. William Shotty is good. Hard work on the offensive class. You can see the coaching staff rise up and clap for that effort. Here's Peyton. Oh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Robert Williams picks up one. You know, a versatile bit really is a game of the Celtics in some situations. And even a great starting five isn't perfect against every opponent. It's important to have flexibility. That Boston definitely has. Looney checked in for Iguodala. Hey, we see plenty of three-point shots every game, Brent. Would you say it's still a shooter's league? Yeah, I would say it's still a scorer's league, PA, rather than a shooter, because look, a lot of people can take shots. Uh, there aren't too many that make them efficiently. So uh, that part is, is going nowhere. I think it's about creating points and trying to get it to the most opportunistic way you can score. That's what the offensive job is to do. And that replay showed how sensational that drive truly was. Oh, I love the mindset to get at the rim right there. He knows they're down and wants to spark a comeback. Brogdon, the pass to Williams. Basket is good on the assist from Brogdon. Williams has got his first three points of the game. Pretty good awareness there from Malcolm Brogdon, capable of spotting the open teammate on that side. Count the basket low. Now a little over two and a half minutes into the second. Outside White. And that's the foul called on Steph Curry. That's foul number two. Tim Pritchard checked in for White. Golden State on D. A 12 point game. Back to Pritchard. Pass to Williams. With the 10 footer. Tries again. Looney with some nice D. The Warriors have gone four for six here in the second. Now here's Kaminga. Outside. DiVincenzo. defense from Williams. Hard to convert against that kind of defense pressure. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests. And that's just enough. And he gets that one. Have to take care of the defense boys better than that. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. Now a timeout called by Golden State. 2022. What a year for Golden State. Another NBA title. Unbelievable from the worst record in the league, climbing back on top, getting their big three healthy. And as long as you have a healthy Steph Curry, I think you're going to have a chance to get there. What a run they were on. Left side Brown. And Gallinari throws it down. Watch out below. Gallinari gets up there. You don't see that much from him, but like to see it when you do. To the middle. And that one's good. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Tatum against Wiggins. We've got one fifty-five left in the half. He passes to Williams. And here's Brown for three. Sinks the tray. Brown's got 12 points. Even when Brown shooting quickly, he's not rushing. He takes his time with his release. The three from Thompson knocks down the triple. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, both 
of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Here's Pritchard. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. They get it back. Beyond the arc. Here's Williams. And at last, they get one to fall. And the Celtics lead by 16. And there he is. I mean, attacking the balls, converting off the misses. I mean, trying to do everything he can to secure this W. I just don't see how you climb back into the game when you're allowing plays like that to happen. Extra work on the offensive class. Boston has gone two of five from distance here in the second quarter. And Andrew Wiggins gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Green's checked in for the Warriors. Horford, he's checked in for Boston. Smart comes in for Pritchard. There's 48 seconds left in the second quarter. Williams finds Horford. Smart outside. Back to Horford. Just five on the clock. And the layup is good. Horford's got his first point to the game. I like that Al right there just got a great angle, and he finished strong. The Warriors have got seven of ten attempts to drop in the second quarter. Thompson, no good. Boston dicting the flow. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. That was execution to perfection. Textbook transition offense. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. Here's Green. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got a rebound number 12 here already in the game. Down, can't hit. Up top, Wiggins. What a play! He drains it at the buzzer! Great job in the corner on a high note. Celtics, 42. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be back right after the break for the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, a tremendous game we're seeing from Jalen Brown. He had 12 points previously. And... And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Jalen Brown having a dominant impact in this game. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. It's yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. The core of the dynasty all on the floor. Curry and Clay, the guards, with Draymond up front of the four. Devon Looney is out there with Andrew Wiggins. That's the Warriors 5. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And I think Andrew Wiggins is a great example of how positions have changed. Came into the league playing a lot of the two. Now, you see him at times playing a bunch at the full line for two. That free throw, no good. And for Wiggins, he'll play the stretch four times. Grant, he's extremely versatile. And B.A., that shows just how the game has evolved. Wiggins is a traditional small forward. But we've seen that push to small ball, shifting Andrew to the four and even the five during stretches. And the Warriors pushing it up now. Police State foul. Andrew Wiggins. Second personal foul. For the Celtics, they're shooting 55% for the game so far. Pass to Brown. Uh, becoming a star before our eyes. Brown's work ethic and desire to be great has transformed him into elite talent. First one falls. Jalen Brown. At the line for two. Throws good for Brown. And it's the Warriors with the ball. They trail by 18. Pass to Thompson. Rebounded by the Celtics. 
Williams has got 13 rebounds in the game. Class beating. Yeah, raise your hand if you're surprised that Clay Thompson back three more points. Here's Smart. It's Brown on the wing. Defended by Thompson. Here's Williams. Warriors with the rebound. Looney's got five rebounds tonight. Passes to Thompson. Three pointer. Horford pulls it in. Horford's got five rebounds tonight. Got a piece of it. It's Brown on the wing. Oh, on target from range. Brown's got five points now in the quarter. A dangerous shooter from all areas. Brown's eyes get real big when he shoots these corner threes. Green with the ball. Picked up by Tim. Looney passes to Thompson. Try to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Thompson's got four shots to go in 12 attempts. Here's Brown. And he comes up with a bucket. Brown's got 19 points. Yeah, tonight has been all about Jalen Brown. A legit star in this league. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. And this is exactly what you love to see. A big, not letting up, keep on applying pressure to their defense. Pass to Smart. And so the ball out of bounds. Smart tucks it last. All four of the crowd interacting with the. Players, but not so much the players interacting with the crowd. That one, Aaron Pass. And some changes here for the Warriors. Iguodala is checking for Looney. Kaminga comes in for Wiggins. And it's Deacon Chenzo in for Clay Thompson. And let's send it over to Valley of Force. Thank you very much, Brian. Jalen Brown has been vocal when it comes to social justice. He said, quote, people need to step up and use their platform. Keep conversations alive and show people that you care. Defensive Where your influence is biggest, try to leverage it. Brian, he knows his stuff. Stand up. Valley, thank you. The Celtic making a switch here. Hauser's checked in. Draymond. Free throw no good for Green. And watching Draymond Green play. Grant, he's the quarterback on both ends. I love that, B.A. Defensively, constantly calling out instructions on how to switch. Keeping everyone organized. And offensively, Green is an incredible passer. See these guys get open before they do. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Kuminga banked it in off the glass. Kuminga's got eight. another shot right in the lane. That's been their M.O. this evening. White, the pass to Horford. Outside, Gallinari. to Horford. Wide open. Rebounded by Green. Uh, defense better tighten up on the mid-range there. Much, much tighter. You expect him to make every single one of those. That one goes in. You try to deny the deep threat of what it is that brings to the game, but that opens up the 15-footer or the 18-footer, so that would be frustrating to guard. Here's White. Can't hit the free-throw line jumper. Horford with the steal. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Here's Steven Chenzo. A shot that time, not on target. Now the Celtics take it the other way. They led the game at one point by 20. Gallinari, the pass to Horford. Boston, no good at that time either. The Warriors have gotten five of ten shots to go. Puts it up. Curry shot is off. The Celtics have gotten just three of eight shots to go in the third quarter. Gallinari, the pass to White. Horford inside. He's against Iguodala. White for three. Here's Horford. And finally, they hit one. And the Celtics lead by 16. Constant, consistent energy from Mal Horford. You love to see them being active out there on the offensive glass. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. Just a millisecond late. So close to coming up with a steal there. Real close. And I'm sure next time you might time that a little bit better and get a handle. Green's check in for the Warriors. Poole comes in for Stephen Curry. The Celtics also go with us up. Williams is checked in. Shot blocked. Iguodala demonstrating his defense. 
offensive prowess yet again. Super reach on that one. And the Warriors making a switch here. Payton's checked in. The Celtics also with a sub. Pritchard's checked in for Hauser. Outside Brogdon. Back to White. Six on the shot clock. And good. Coming on the assist by Brogdon. White's got five. That's pretty much not how they want to defend the three-point line. Somebody's got a shadow one out there. Here's the Vincenzo. Oh, and he got foul on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It goes on Malcolm Brogdon. There's another level to Vincenzo's game. It starts to happen when he attacks like that. Brown, he's checked in for Boston. Second free throw is good. There's 42 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Inside is Pritchard. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Pritchard's got his first basket. That's the kind of pass you want there. Work the ball around. Keep it moving. Try to get an assist. And everybody that's so reliable. He clearly needs to be more involved in the offense as they try to shrink this lead. Brogdon into the lane. And the bucket is good. Brogdon. And the Celtics lead by 20. Oh, good job of getting inside. Brogdon finds a way to get two more. To the left wing. Here's Kaminga. Gallinari pulls it in. Payton against Brown. And it's pulled with a rebound. Here's Payton. And so it's the Boston Celtics feeling confident. 18-point lead to win that quarter. Defense is setting the tone. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was the choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on a full display. Well, a great job with the eyes and what separates great playmakers, as we know, is peripheral vision. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. Tatum and Horford at the forward slots. Smart and Brown, a great defensive backcourt. And it's Williams in at the center position, locking down the middle. Wiggins outside. Poole outside. Six to shoot. Here's Looney. Austin with a rebound. Horford's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Tatum from long range. It's rebounded by Golden State. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. That was a setup there. Green plays with great speed and plays with great pace. That's a nice field run. And for the Celtics, they're shooting at about 51% for the game so far in this one. And smart. It's Brown on the wing. Wide open look. Cash. He's 9 for 14 in the game. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. The Celtics have gone 2 of 3 to open the fourth quarter. Pass to Smart. Williams against Looney. William shot is good. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater. Boy, they sure are pretty. The Warriors have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Here's Poole. Smart with the defensive effort. Perfect timing to rise up and challenge the shot inside. Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Hey guys, talk about silencing the critics. Tatum made first team all NBA last year. And that the Celtics in their first finals appearance in over a decade. Curry, he's checked in for Poole. Williams is checked in for Boston. Curry passes to Looney. Horford with a steal. Smart with the ball. Pass to Tatum. Takes a three. Looney grabs the miss. 
Clooney's got a rebound number eight here already in the game. You know, probably the biggest shift for Tatum is advancement at the defensive end, Grant. Oh, no question, B.A. And that's imperative at the small forward position. Think about it. You have guys like LeBron, Kawhi, KD. Now Jason Tatum is in that elite two-way group as well. And you have to put Jimmy Butler in there as well. Brown passes to Tatum. And Andrew Wiggins gets the whistle that time. Andrew Wiggins. That's his third foul so far. And let's face it, they won't get back in the game with fouls like that. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Tatum with some nice D. The Celtics have gone 4 of 7 from the field in the fourth quarter. Down low. Horford passes to Williams. Brown against Green. Clock at 4. And the foul called on Draymond Green. That'll be a second foul of the game. Second team foul. That screen, he doesn't get a clean look at the rim. Yeah, why well, settle for the layup when you can attack the rim? That rise up like that. That's just nasty right there, guys. He has a tremendous crossover. Pass to Smart. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. Now Horford. And there it is for him. Warriors have got two of eight shots to drop in the final quarter. Curry passes to Thompson. Three pointer, no good. It's been a struggle all night long from deep, but doesn't seem like he's lost his confidence. He's still let him rip. Smart with the ball. Now guarded by Curry. From 13. And smart with the bucket. On oh, the assist by Tatum. Look at how Tatum surveys the whole floor. That's how he spots the wide open man. Here's Curry. No good on the shot. Some solid defense from Williams. The Celtics have gotten seven of their first ten shots to go during this fourth quarter. Pass to Horford. Looney grabs a miss. Looney's got ten rebounds here today. So active. From down in the low post, it goes. It's Draymond's overall strength on the inside to get in there and find his way to a tough basket in the paint. Wiggins against Tatum. To the left side wing. Warford for three. The shot no good. The Warriors go the other way with it. Well, the scoreboard tells you everything you need to know about this one. A great showing here for the Celtics. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. The VA, it's almost hard to think. It didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. And what a huge performance it was for Jalen Brown. It looked like a couple of times they might be wearing him down, but not the case. At the offensive end, he was just devastating. And it's a completely new group here for the Warriors. A big group substitution here for Boston. Griffin, he's checked in for Williams. Muscala comes in for Horford. Hauser, he's checked in for Tatum. And Pritchard is subbed in for Smart. Lamp finds green. Goes up and lays it in. Nice and easy. You say what you will about the value of the three-pointer, but those close-in looks are always plan A. Every trip down, get to the paint, get deep, score. Drive by Brown. Warriors foul. Gary Payton, the second. First personal foul. T score. Shooting for Boston. And it knocks out on the first one. Two shots. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And the Warriors with possession here. Just one second separating the shot clock and the game clock. 
Here's Moody. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. He made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. That free throw misses. It's the second from the line. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Peyton. And it's Gary Peyton, the second for the foul. So that'll be a second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. Shooting for Austin. Peyton Pritchard taking two shots. And he makes a first. That's good from the strike. Here's Peyton. No good. A bit long that time. And so it's Boston easily grabbing.